Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your winner, the Brandon TV guys today, and welcome to my channel. Hope y'all feel good, looking, smelling good. Hope y'all been enjoying the content over here on YouTube and over there on Twitch. Today's video, I want to do a, a bigger conversation about got not Gotham Knights, um, the Suicide Squad game that's coming out, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. And I was a little harsh in my video, my video before about it. I'll have it to your to your your right. And a lot of people are being harsh towards it. And then some of you who are more positive towards it are probably like, yo, why are y'all all being so hard in this game? It's not even out yet for all you know it'll be very very good which is true for all we know it could be very very good but in this video i want to talk about why we're so hard on it and why we we're just tired of this kind of game so when it comes to the superhero um genre it's actually been a very short time of there being good superhero video games like the arkham games were birth of fresh air which is why everyone's always referred to the arkham games when it comes to superhero video games because most hero games have been very very bad since the inception of superhero video games period you know so the arkham games were like that that god saying like oh my god we finally have a very good superhero video game and outside of the arkham games spider-man usually the spider-man games from the movie games on ps2 to you know web of shadows and things like that on 360 and so on into the, the modern spider-man games were always also you know pretty good there's some like out there that, that were pretty bad but most spider-man games that came out were pretty good games and they, they have a, a special place in people's hearts so when it comes to there being good superhero video games it was just those two things spider-man and the arkham games so when other people were deciding hey we're gonna, we're gonna start doing these kind of games dc universe we got marvel ultimate alliance which is pretty good it's in, in, in itself and things like that it was like okay maybe we're we're we're, 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 we're getting to like a, a new standard of there's going to be good superhero video games but at the same time we're getting some games like iron man and whatnot that were just not good at all so we, we have a short leash when it comes to superhero fans people who play superhero video games or in superhero movies we have a short like a short leash on you know what we put what we see when it comes to the content and we also are just kind of tired of live service like right now there's two things in gaming that is that's like just overdone is stale and we're tired of it it's just too generic want something different live service and open world some games put those together but generally we're all kind of getting tired of open world games we're all getting kind of tired of live service the reason is because we keep getting a lot of bad half-baked cookie cutter games that aren't good it, but they're, they're both those things they're open world or the line service and when it comes to line service in particular there hasn't been many good ones like mmos are technical technical line service we're, we're going to exclude those when we're talking about the kind of game that suicide squad kills justice league is taking part in we're talking about live service gear score looter shooters so they're thinking destiny thinking war warframe and those two are the benchmark of success Destiny and Warframe, for all its purposes, are very successful and very well received live servers looter shooter video games. But that's kind of where it stops. After you get past Destiny and Warhammer, it just drops off. Like there's a huge like, anthem. Failed. Gotham Knights, though I myself think it's a decent video game, it failed. The Avengers video game, it has its moments, it failed <laughs> horribly. So you see the trend here. There's only been like two. But everything else fails and we see, you see this, this suicide squad kills just like video game and you see like the gameplay and how it works you're just looking at like this is literally the same thing this is literally just gotham knights this is literally just the avengers game and if you play gotham knights you think to yourself like wait a minute is gotham knights just a a, a beta for this game because you, you're playing is like like gotham knights is very half-baked it's not a bad game but it's very half-baked it's very generic it's not it, it, it's very buggy there's, it's, there's issues with gotham knights and you kind of sit there and feel like this game doesn't feel finished and maybe the reason why it doesn't feel finished because it's, it's basically just a, a beta test for suicide squad and kills justice league which is you know the going to be going full in when it comes to like the live service gear score battle pass you know thing because like remember and we got the nice they're, they're adding it now but the, there was no original four player co-op got nice it was just two player co-op so that's why because justice league has four player co-op so it's like it, it just feels more and more like got them nice is just a the, the beta and now th there are some things that to mention when it comes to all these games that i mentioned that are bad that are positive got the nice has a very intriguing story the Marvel Avengers game had a very intriguing story. Like it's one of its bright spots was the storytelling when it comes to not, not even just the main story, but also the expansion characters. Like the Black Panther DLC had an interesting story. And, and, and again, Gotham Knights 
interesting story. When I'm in my first that first video I did for for, for Suha Twa because of Justice League, I talked about how the cutscenes all look good. The story looks interesting, looks intriguing, but the gameplay doesn't. And that's the issue here. These games they have intriguing stories. All of them do. All these live service games that we that we freaking like trash all have potentially intriguing stories, but the gameplay is just always bad. And and the thing about it is not everybody can, can capture what Destiny captured. You know, Warhammer, what it has going for it is it has really good combat, but it's also very unique to Warhammer. So I, I keep saying Warhammer, I keep meaning Warframe. These games all names all sound too familiar <laughs> nowadays. But when I when every part of this video where I say Warhammer, just throw Warframe in, 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 in there. I mean Warframe. Warframe, Warframe, Warframe. It has a, a unique combat. It has a unique movement, and that's why it it it, it, it it's, it's successful. Because you know, sure, it does have the same kind of rule three cliche: sit here and kill a bunch of enemies who don't mean anything. They all look exactly like reused assets. But it's a fun game with a very unique style. The Avengers game, Gotham Knights, and Soul Squad because of Justice League does not have a unique look. They all just look like realistic superhero video games. That all have the exact same, you know, mechanic gear scores. You know, even, even, you know what's funny in the video for the, with the devs. One of the, the ladies talked about, you know, Bane, and she was like, "You can do the, the, this toxin uh, damage. You do toxin damage in, in, in Gotham Knights. They don't call it Bane toxin, but it's basically the exact same thing." So this is this is again. What I'm trying to say is this is why we're all so worried about this game, and why we're we're scared of this game, and we're we're upset and and you know distraught with this game. It's because we all love Rocksteady. We all want them to make a good video game. We all love the Arkham series, and we are all hoping for like a a, a Superman Arkham Arkham game. Like, well, yeah, technically it's like not set in Arkham, but the, the same kind of style. So we see this, we're just like y'all. You have an easy layup. You do. You have an easy layup. Just make Superman, you know, Arkham style game in Metropolis or you, wherever you can be in, in Krypton. Doesn't matter where it's at. But you, instead of doing that, you you basically just make Gotham Knights again. That's what it is. So it's like because Justice League is basically just Gotham Knights with a different skin. It's the Avengers game with a different skin. In that first video I mentioned, we've already had a game from WB that had Brainiac as the big bad guy. And Justice too. So it's like, so not only are you basically copy copy pasting the whole Avengers Gotham Knights style, using the exact same villain that you that you already had in the same publishing studio, not the same not the same developers, because it's different developers. But the same publisher already had this villain a few years ago when it came to Injustice 2, which had Brainiac. This game also has Brainiac. Brainiac is more of a background, air quotes, because the, the big thing is you're fighting the Justice League, but he's in control of the Justice League. So it's like, there's things here in the game where it's like, I, I don't understand why they chose what, what, what they chose to do. A lot of people are saying that it's just a safe thing to do. Like They're just, they're just playing it safe. That's all it is. They're just playing it safe. It's very, very safe to, to just make this online multiplayer game that's always online you can play by yourself that isn't actually very intriguing when it comes to this gameplay. It isn't, you know, ambitious or groundbreaking. Everyone's a freaking shooter. You know, you're playing as, as King Shark voiced by Samoa Joe, and he's also just use, using using guns instead of just being a shark running around and ripping people in half and things like that. You're playing Captain Boomerang instead of just fl flinging boomerangs around. You're also freaking just shooting people. Boom rates are just his abilities instead of like his, his primary we weapon source. Harley Quinn's instead of the, you know pistols and a bat, she she's using chain guns and things like that, just like the, the other characters. It becomes a game where this is very homogenized game where everyone's doing the exact same thing. Again, this happened with the Avengers game. The Avengers game, for the most part, is kind of fun, but it got old very quickly because every hero did the exact same thing. Every hero felt exactly the same. And every enemy type also felt exactly the same. So they make these games that, that are grindy as hell and they want you to waste your time with them. But at the same time, you don't want to play them because you get bored of the tedious nature that, they, that those games are, the repetitive nature that those games are very quickly. So when it comes to why we are so hard on this game, why we're so hard on Suicide Squad because of Justice League, why we're just kind of just done with, 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 with this game already, that's why. Because we've already had two superhero video games with the exact same freaking like style, you know, Gotham Knights and Avengers, and Avengers, and we're just done with it. You know, if you don't make a good video game, we're going to lose interest in that style.
and you're trying to copy destiny because destiny has made all this money over 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 this time you're not destiny you know it's okay for your your superhero video games to be self-contained and and not be a different kind of like thing again look at the guardians of the galaxy guardians of the galaxy could have been another one of these failures but instead it's a hidden gem it's a great game it's a self-contained single-player story game and that's all it is just like spider-man just like the batman arkham games notice a trend here the single-player story games that are self-contained are very good but these multiplayer gear score games aren't follow don't follow the trend of what's popular in video games follow the trend of what's successful in your own genre because your own genre aka the superhero video game genre has these games that are succeeding the arkham games spider-man games Guardians of the Galaxy, do that. I guarantee you that Wolverine game from Somniac is not going to be a multiplayer game. It's going to be a single player Wolverine game. And, and I, I get it. People want to play games with their friends. Cool. But obviously, well, clearly, I want to say obviously, clearly it's not working right now. You know, in the DC universe, it, it did what it needed to do. But for the most part, it seems like superhero and multiplayer just ain't going together. So what it just seems like. Maybe someone can do a good job with it at some point, but right now it just doesn't seem like it's working. It hasn't worked. What is working is a, sing is a single player story games. You know what I mean? And people will be like, but the, the, but, the Guardi but, but the Suicide Squad are a team. So is Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy is a team, but you just play Peter, Peter Quill in a self contained story. It would have been better if you could switch around with characters, but again, it's just a self contained story. Ironically, Suicide Squad's existence in the mass media right now is to try to compete with Guardians of the Galaxy and it's just not doing it. It ain't doing it in movies, it ain't doing it in video. So it's an L all around. With all that said, as if this video, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I'll do all the things the algorithm are other come likes and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Follow me on Twitch, link in the description box below. I've been your boy Nubus Mighty here. Stay safe. Deuces.